Hey everyone, it's Alex from Rad Sign, and we are here today with Adib from Connecticut. We're just going to go through, do a quick booth tour, go over the pieces, let you know what they got here, and tell you about the IPs, tell you about release dates, and all that good stuff. So let's go straight into it. Got Wrath Loss all by right, our side. So, so over here we have um, Monster Hunter Wrath Loss. Um, it's a piece that's yeah, currently uh, shipping. Um, so we have the final product here on display. Um, so it's actually. Um, four different uh, statues. Uh, it's a one-tenth scale, so you can actually display them and you know however you want. Um, but it, it, it was also being sold as a bundle itself, uh, which which comes with all the characters. So yeah, I mean um, you can see the details, and it was sculpted uh, traditionally, uh, uh, which is not common for us, but um, it was. It's actually it's a combination of uh, digital and traditional because it was 3D printed and then uh, the, uh, the the sculptor actually hand sculpted the details so you can see it's um, quite um, meticulous. Yeah. Did you mention it's Monster Hunter? <laughs> yep. Okay, good. I, one of the things I because I've never played the game, but one of the things which made me laugh is I watched a guy talking about it, mm -hmm. and he's just like, you know, the kind of point of it is where. You know, I want to make a new outfit for my cat. I'm going to go and like fuck up this demon, and he's like a rare demon that's been around for a thousand years. Just go, my cat can have a new, put a new outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see the, <laughs> yeah. see the, 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 the funny bit here we have for all our Monster Hunter statues is we have the palico, which is the cat. Um, you know, always in some funny situation. Like in this case, it's like running away from the flames. Yeah. So everybody loves the palico. Yeah. And you said you can, you can buy these separately or they come as a set? Or? Yeah, yeah, so they're individually sold, but yep. they also come as a bundle. So um, in this case, obviously, we have the whole bundle to display, but you can actually you know, switch them around how you want to display them. Okay. All right, should we move around to the next one? Yeah. Okay, we have um, Dimitri from Darkstalkers here in quarter scale. Uh, this is a prototype, uh, which is a kind of a work in, work in progress. Um, but uh, we, this is the first showcase of our Darkstalker license, uh, and it's kind of painted right now. Uh, we're expecting it to probably launch pre-orders in a couple of months. Um, and um, yeah, so here he is. Would this come in like um, just one version, or a version without the Beast, or you know? Um, no, it will come with the Beast, but the Beast is, you know, if, if you have like, if you don't want to display behind the throne, you can yeah. like display. It's just because some people have like uh, height restrictions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, okay. you, it comes with the whole thing, but you get it's removable, mm. um, and it doesn't really affect the display in any way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So here we have our Street Fighter Chun Li quarter, in quarter scale, obviously. Um, <clears throat> It's a collaboration with the, um, uh, the well-known uh, Stanley Art, Art Germ Lao. Um, and what we have on display here is the final product, um, which is uh, shipping right now, actually. So um, yeah, so it's, uh, the, 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 the base is, you know, as you can see, it's quite intricate, but um, it takes up a lot less um, um, real estate. To, yeah. That's a very nice piece and the face on it. Beautiful. I love the way you've got. Well, you captured her, her thick thighs. I absolutely love that. But there's also like the motion here, where you got like the kind of whirlwind coming round. Yeah. And you got like the, you know, the little uh, dim sum there, and then the noodles at the back. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we, we, yeah, we like yeah. to like incorporate a lot of Easter eggs from the game. Yeah, because that's from the first game, the Street yep. Fighter Two. Yeah. Where you got the chickens and the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So we wanted to also have a little bit of our Chinese kind of heritage. Mm. Uh, that's why we have the dim sum and this, the restaurant sign, yeah. which actually says like noodle here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So this is the next in line after Chun Li, uh, Kami. Um, but uh, the slight uh, different thing here is it's the uh, alpha costume rather than the traditional one. Okay. Um, so again, this is also quarter scale and with a lot of details and Easter eggs of the character in the base. Mm. Well, yeah, it's to be like, you know, you've got the flag, yep. you've got the beer, you've <laughs> yep. got the corgi, you've got the telephone box. Yeah, yeah. all things uh, are yeah. British. <laughs> yeah, you can even see like her alternate bison costume oh, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. luggage. The Shadow Lou outfit. Yeah, so we try to tell a little bit of a story in the whole base as well. Mm. Nice, very uh, and, nice. And this is, um, again, um, kind of a disclaimer, it's still a prototype and it's a work in progress because there's some things we still need to work out. Like well, the, uh, the hair's missing as well. Yeah. And Someone then, forgot to bring it. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. So, um, also, um, 
people, you know, maybe con looking at it, thinking, oh, the, there will be leaning issues and all of that. But uh, just like the Chun Li statue, it will have like a metal rod going all the mm. way uh, up to our hips. So you know, there will be there won't be any leaning issues. And also, um, the lean here that you see here is actually uh, not the correct orientation. It will be a little bit more upright. So yeah. So again, it's a work in progress. Only work in progress. Yep. Engineering need to be done. Yep. Just fresh off the print, basically, yep. to get here for the con. So. Right. Uh, where do you want to go next? All right, so next up we've got the Guild Gear pieces. So you want to talk about those? Yeah, so this is our second in line for the Guilty Gear series. Um, the first one was DZ 17 scale. Um, so these are in quarter scale, obviously. Um, two different products which can be kind of displayed together. Um, yeah, and uh, this is our first showcase of um, like quarter scale building gear. Yep. Which, which characters are they then? Um, these are um, So Bad Guy, uh, which is the main protagonist of Guilty Gear and uh, of course um, his uh, rival character. Um, this statue actually comes with a Swapa uh, sword which has the effect of the sword effect like going overhead kind uh, of thing. Yeah. So again these the, are... The blue one? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. I saw the massive box. I thought, first yeah. of all I thought it was a TV box because yeah. I opened it up to look for the remote <laughs> control. Exactly. And then I opened it up and I'm like... Oh, that must be the statue that hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> okay, that's that's its switch up part. Yeah, it's a switch oh, okay. up part for Kai. Um, so it, it's it's quite big. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, But we actually decided to make a switch out option because you know some people have height restrictions. So you know we have a simpler display here. Although even with the simpler display, it's quite tall. Um, we yeah. need to, will you be displaying that tomorrow or? Um, no, because again, this is a work in progress prototype, okay. and the engineering is not done yet. Okay. So um, there's a lot of weight on Kai's leg right now, and we intend to have like again a metal rod going all the way up, and um, to be able to support that huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, of course. And then uh, should we go straight into the last piece then? Yeah, sure. And then the final piece, but uh, last but not least. Yep. So we have uh, here our uh, second anime license, um, which is uh, My Hero Academia. So these are a bit smaller in a 1-6 scale. Uh, and again, these are work in progress, great prototypes we had to kind of put together for the con. Um, again, um, especially for, uh, we have like All Might and uh, Midoriya. So um, Midoriya, again, you know, the engineering is not done. So um, yeah, and the bases connect together. Uh, and they're two different products, actually, not one product. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, obviously, you've said that this is going to be engineered. Um, are you going to be kind of extending this line? Um, yes, again, uh, we are hoping to extend the line. Um, in fact, we are renewing our contract right now. So, um, so we're looking forward that past this character, there, there's actually a second character in development right now. Okay. So, awesome. um, yeah, and, and, and again, another disclaimer, uh, the bases actually connect seamlessly, yeah, yeah. Uh, but again, for this prototype, because of the orientation issues, they're kept apart. Well, the yeah. convention started at like, people started coming in at nine, half mm -hmm. nine, <laughs> open mainly at 10. Uh, you're still gluing this, I think, at half 12. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, in traditional con fashion, we are a bit late in setup, so, yeah. yeah. Well, as, I mean, there's a typical artist thing, isn't it, really? <laughs> yeah. But um, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for showing us around. Uh, do go, do, do check out Connecticut's, look at their stuff, uh, keep up to date. They do have a Facebook page, a Facebook group with their community. And uh, yeah, look at the projects they're doing. Let me know what you think about their stuff and like, comment, subscribe, share, all that business. Happy collecting. I saw her from the funny angle where I thought she was sucking them off. <laughs> <laughs> so you're filming? Oh, God.